Safekeeping Wisconsin, for our kids and learning communities. Maintaining safe facilities, air quality. During COVID-19, we learned a lot about the spread of infectious disease. Mask wearing is one of the best strategies for reducing airborne exposure, along with social distancing and reduced occupancy. But keeping our schools safe also means following public health guidance on the quality of air circulating in our buildings. Begin by reviewing your HVAC system operations. For ventilation, provide and maintain at least required minimum outdoor airflow rates. But also use caution in highly polluted areas when increasing outdoor air ventilation. For filtration, use combinations of filters and air cleaners that achieve as close as possible to MERV 13 levels of performance. Air distribution is important too. Promote mixing of air without causing strong air currents. Involve your HVAC system experts to verify that all systems are functioning as designed. Maintain temperature and humidity set points. In non-residential settings, run the HVAC system at maximum outside airflow for two hours before and after the building is occupied. Operate systems to achieve a minimum of three air changes, refreshing air supply between occupied periods. If three air changes can't be achieved, Portable room air cleaners with HEPA filters can also be helpful, especially when combined with MERV 13 central air filtration. Never use portable air cleaners that emit ozone or ions. In addition, make sure to limit re-entry of contaminated air. So why is air quality in schools so important? Well-ventilated classrooms are associated with a 12% decrease in sick days in schools. Poorly ventilated classrooms showed a 5% decrease in the power of attention, roughly the same effect as skipping breakfast. Safekeeping Wisconsin, for our kids and learning communities. For more information, visit our website, 